Jim, you must be, be delighted with the result out there today, but it, it was hard work. Oh, it was real hard work. You know, I thought uh, Hamilton brought a lot of energy to the game and uh, played their part first half. Probably should have taken the lead, the one they've hit off the bar. Uh, and we had to defend for our lives at times in the first half. You know, especially with the wind going that way as well, we were having to deal with a lot of, you know, forward balls and what have you. But they played well. Uh, I thought we grew into the game, you know, and put a lot, a lot of crosses into the box and nothing was really falling for us. You know, we had a lot of near things and it just didn't quite, we didn't have that final bit. Uh, a lot of times it was us not reacting to second balls, uh, good defending from Hamilton. Uh, and just could have been a wee bit better finishing from us, but I thought Louis Longstaff in that first period was unplayable. You know, he was brilliant, you know, and he was really putting them on the back foot. And uh, Second half, the, obviously we've got the wind and we can, you know, hem them, them in a wee bit. And I thought we'd done that for long periods. You, you, you start to wonder whether the goal is going to come, but, you know, that's why you make the substitutions and you're hopeful that... So somebody else can give it that wee bit extra and, and Lates comes on and gets the goals, which is great. Uh, the deliveries that we were putting in the box were really dangerous, especially with corners, and it just wasn't falling for us. Uh, I don't know how many times Mitch and uh, Big Jerry just couldn't get that final bit on it, and I could have taken either of them off. It was just a case of trying to get late and on to give us a wee bit of something extra, because they two boys were excellent for us and knocked their pan in you know, the whole game. McIntosh comes on with 10 minutes to go and with one of his first touches he, he scores. Substitutes don't get much better than that. No, it doesn't. And he, he's got a, ha a real good habit of coming off the bench and, and scoring. He's, he's very good at making an impact. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's, he's done his job today. He's come on and scored the, his second goal. It's a brilliant goal. And it's really, really good play and great composure. And he's such a sweet striker of the ball. It's you know you know you always know that when he gets into that area that he, he he'll get a clean connection, uh, and the goalkeeper's got no chance. It was a bit of a scrappy game up until that point. Was that basically just down to the fact that we haven't played in a few weeks? Yeah, I think also uh, it, it was always going to be. You know, it's two teams who Hamilton know if they beat us, then they're right behind us. We know if we you know beat them, then we go ten points clear of them, and that that's. You know, that would have been in both managers' team talks, so uh, I don't think it was ever going to be a classic. The wind, the pitch was difficult tonight. It was bobbly and bouncy. Uh, the boys said that in the warm-up, it was difficult. It wasn't, the ball wasn't skidding about because it was uh, obviously that wind and, and stuff like that. So it made conditions a wee bit tricky, uh, but all in all, I'm delighted. It's a great effort for the players. This is the last game in the, the, uh, the second quarter. So we're right bang on the half way stage of the season and I was just delighted to get the points tally that we're looking for. And it was really important to get that win. We've obviously opened up the gap between ourselves and, and the teams below us. So it's, it's time to start looking up. Yeah, of course. We always looked to try and like, see who's above us and ca try and catch that next team, which is Inverness Cali, who have lost tonight. So obviously we want to try and go there and put on a performance. but. You know, we were well beaten up there at the start of the season. We know uh, they've got a really good squad, but they've had uh, a decimation of injuries for the last six weeks, so it's been really tough for them. So, uh, you know, but, you know, beware of the wounded animal, and that's what we'll be saying to the players. It looks as if we've lost Charlie. Uh, we had a really bad tackle. I uh, can't understand why that wasn't a booking when I've seen some of the ones that we'll, we get yellow cards for. So that was really disappointing. Uh, but we'll get him scanned and we'll see how he is. And that's the final game of 2022. Have you, have you got a message for the fans? Yeah, just Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope they have a great new year. Uh, I hope we can make it a really good new year by making sure we retain our place in this league and that will we'll certainly be doing everything we can. Uh, I'd like to thank them for their support uh, to me and my backroom staff and the support that they gave the players. I thought they were excellent tonight.